right from guard. Today we're just going to use this to break that guard and then go through what we did this week, just the no B version. Okay? So I'm going to get a hold of one of those wrists, planting on his hip. I'm going to step up and I'm going to make that space. Okay? Now, as long as I keep that wrist pinned, I can use my back hand to open his guard. Okay? And now I'm going to pick one leg to come up through the middle. So I bring that foot back and I squat. All right? I like to use my right leg. It's just my habit. Okay? But it doesn't really matter. If you want to use your back leg, once I break it open, that's fine. I can squat down that side too. Make sense? I've still got control of his leg. I'm controlling his hips with my knee. Okay? I can set down if I want to. You just got to be aware, especially no gi, that leg locks are legal in most tournaments. Okay? So you got to be aware of where your legs are. Okay? But that also gives me an attack on his foot here. Make sense? So, once I get that guard open, he stripped out away from me, so my knee goes across, I'm diving for that underhook, up facing it, and then my knee slides. Okay? So we're using the stand up to break his guard, and then whichever way they shrimp their hips, they shrimp out, we go for our knee slice, knee slide. If they shrimp into us, boom, and he shrimps tries to push on it, now I'm gonna staple. Everybody got it? I'm, I'm trying to cross face him. I want to prevent him from getting up onto his hip. So my outside arm's gonna cross face him, keep his shoulders down, alright, towards his head. My opposite arm's looking for that underhook. Okay? If you feel comfortable and you got good shoulder pressure, then I can use that hand to block his leg here by punching the ground. Okay, now he can't shrimp back into me and try to regard me with that leg. But we don't have pants to grab onto to control it. The other option, it's a little bit, it's kind of a middle ground, is instead of blocking his hip, I can control his leg here. So I hook his leg and I turn his hips away, you see? So they're facing the same way as his hip. I just gotta make sure that, and be aware that that arm can get trapped in there. Yep. So I gotta be aware of that triangle attempt. He can try an inverted triangle if I don't keep my head up by his. All right, so that's, it was, as long as we're keeping good shoulder pressure, that's not something you should really have to worry about as much. Questions? Good question. Yeah. Take the wrist, plant it on his hips. I step up with that side, trying to get that hip pressure. Then I can open him up. All right. Pick a leg. If I want to step back, that's fine, as long as I'm controlling those hips. See how it goes right into that staple pass, if I want to go that direction. All right. Or, out. It's actually harder to get back in. Or I split him open, I can drop that knee back, right? He still shrimped out that same way. Now I can knee slide. Oh, I forgot my underhook, so I might have to step around his head. We'll go over that. Cool? Cool. All right, split the guard. Whichever way they shrimp, do the pass. One, two, three.